Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on importing data in a Python. So we have seen about how to read the plain text file, we have seen about how to read this flat file in a Python programming language. Now we are going to see one of the very important file which all engineers, data scientists and even standard for the prototyping of the different engineering system which is nothing but a MATLAB, a matrix laboratory patented file dot mat file. So many of the times the data are available in a form of dot mat file. So let's see what this mat file is. So if you see this MATLAB matrix laboratory software for the very important linear algebra, numerical computation and especially matrix uh, laboratory name itself suggests that it is used for the matrix manipulation operation. So if you see the whole uh, ID of the MATLAB there are a lot of workspace variables are available there and dot mat file is nothing but the collection of such a variable in a form of key value pair now those data are available in a MATLAB software and if you want to persist those data MATLAB is providing to save those data in a form of dot mat file and that dot mat file is nothing but it's a read binary kind of file now suppose we want to use those data in a python programming language how one can use it so let's begin so for importing this mat dot mat file i have already one sample dot mat file which has a very minimum amount of data which is taste dot mat i have put it into my working directory of my current project so for importing mat dot mat file in a scipy library we have one module available which is nothing but the load mat so we are going to use that uh, scipy library in this case so we'll just make those necessary import so scipy dot io and we are going to import load mat let's just import it okay we have successfully imported that and we have a function available like load mat and we will just simply supply this taste dot mat argument and let's just assign it to any random variable like a data and let's just run it okay so we have successfully imported this data but as i have told you earlier that matlab is nothing but the collection of uh, matlab workspace has a collection of all those variable you are currently dealing with and that dot mat file is nothing but to storing all those variable in a persistent manner so if you s just apply the type on the top of this data you will get to know about that that is a dictionary type so all those value in a form of key and value it has given so whatever the key we will get that is nothing but a variable name and value is nothing but its variable value so let's just print it so we'll get to know about that what kind of data are there in a taste.mat file so if you just print it you will get to know about that there are number of key values like underscore globals underscore header underscore version and there is last the actual data were available so if you just apply data as an argument to the data unfortunately i have taken data as a name to the variable and its key value is again also data so it has given us all two values like a one variable a its value is one another variable is b value is two so this way we can import this other standard dot mat file into python programming language with the help of this scipy module and the function name is load mat so that's all about this lecture friends i hope you enjoy listening this video in a future lecture series we are going to see more file and how one can read into python so if you haven't subscribed my channel please please do subscribe to support the channel